and the margin. So, straight games that this match we're about to witness. Both pairs have played one match and won one match. Oh, I thought the Danes yesterday. It's the Olympic silver medalists. Of course, the Danes are the defending champions here, the two time winners. Olympic bronze medalists, they came from 17 20 down in the second game to win it 22 20. Well, I was certainly very concerned about York and Fisher Nielsen. He seemed to twist an ankle in that second game. He carried on as if nothing had happened, but you and I both noticed a bit of a difference in his movement. He wasn't quite flowing in the same way as he had been earlier in the match. I don't know, have you had a chance to speak to him? I've actually asked him last night, um, and he said he didn't realize it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good news. He said he was in the zone. Yeah. Um, he was so, so, uh, so, so into the match. Yeah. I just thought it maybe moving a little bit stiff. Yeah. Or maybe that's because he was so tense, you know. Um, or maybe it's because he's 35 years of age. I didn't want to say it. You said it. I didn't want to say it. But, but yeah, uh, maybe it's just moving like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are the number four seeds because they finished the Super Series this year at number four, having played in eight tournaments, three finals, winning one of them. Number three in the world ranking, of course. So, number six <laughs> in the world ranking at the moment have been as high as two. A total of 23 weeks at number two. And there's that sensational victory they had against the number two seeds, the reigning world champions. They were again and 13 19 down. They won seven straight points to get a game point themselves and eventually won it having saved two match points, 26-24 that second game, and 21-16 in the decider. It was an absolute thriller. Crowd heavily involved in that. Well, this is the fourth meeting, as you can see. All previous matches, I can tell you, it's two straight games, and all, as you can see, won by the Danes, including the last one, which was in this event last year in Shenzhen, in the semi-final stage. sixth appearance in the Super Series Finals in six tournaments. This is the sixth occasion that we've had Super Series Finals. The first year of the Super Series, of course, was 2007, but sadly we didn't have a Super Series Final that year. It has been a wonderful innovation that we have the end of year championships, the Super Series Finals, big battles from the players to try and qualify as one of the top eight players or pairs in the world to 
contest these Super Series finals. Very prestigious and very lucrative event it is too. And it's very nice the way it's a small event and therefore we have two beautiful show courts and fans' attention can be concentrated on just two courts play per session. in the sport. Nicknamed Tao by his teammates. He's turtle, I understand, in Thai. He wanders round the court as if he hasn't a care in the world and then suddenly just explodes into action. No way. Yeah. medalist going back to Anaheim in 2005 and a year later in Madrid. All England finalists as well, 2011. So they have their moments of brilliance, but it has to be said that they also have some results throughout the year that one wouldn't expect in, in that. But that's their style. Yeah. When, when you are you are the character you have the character that Sudkin has of course you, you can uh, help thinking as an opponent 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 isn't it really between the two men <laughs> because you've got one the Dane of course Jochen Fischer who plays with such intensity and such passion playing Did against a player that looks as if he hasn't a care in the world <laughs> well, you need contrast for a good game yeah um, yeah Jochen's definitely not you can't you can't call him laid back no, or can't can call him a turtle <laughs> Yeah, but 
I think I think I need to challenge you on that well, because I don't do. I don't think Suit Kit ever doesn't not care. He just looks as if he's not caring. Yeah, but I, you still see that you know we 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 both know as players that sometimes where you need to get up to that red zone and and fight your way through a, 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 a to, for a game that's difficult where things don't work. If things always worked, you didn't need to go to, to mm. that. Uh, um, I don't believe he's ever. He's, I don't believe he's ever in that zone. I, Do you not? No, I don't think. Mm. No, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. I could be right. Oh, he's standing absolutely still at the moment, not moving <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you don't have to, why should you? Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> why waste the energy? Nah. I think, it, well, in my, no matter who we can discover, he's, I just like to see him play because I think I like that. I like a character. I like it. Yes, I like, I like character. Something. It's fun to see him play. He's a fun guy off court as well. Have you ever chatted to him? No, not he's a very fun man. Yeah. I would react if I was partnering him. I'd love to watch him. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I said to you. I, 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 I simply don't think he goes into that. I think he. No! Oh, don't get me wrong, but I mean, the red zone, I mean, that you know, where you kick the last one out of you. But I do believe he loves playing badminton, mm. which is just as important thing. Yeah. And he's enjoying this. He's enjoying I, I think his whole persona on court possibly means that it's almost a gift of maybe three or four points per game to opponents because they will draw inspiration from the fact that he looks as if he's yeah. not bothered but i believe i honestly believe having spoken to the man and chatted to him and enjoyed his company tremendously that he desperately wants to win but of course he oh yes he wouldn't be here exactly I know that, that, that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that that we, we have seen so many matches where, where you can just see that things are not working for people and they have to really dig. Look at him, he's watching the other court. Yeah, well, it's a good match. I don't think that's his style. But he, he gets points on other things, you know, yeah. by being so adventurous and, yeah. and explosive. Seven. I could have used some of his uh, <laughs> relaxed uh, <laughs> gene. That would have made me a much better badminton player for sure. I was the total opposite. In fact, I can honestly say I think he played with more intensity than Joachim Fischer Nielsen. Uh, I think <laughs> he, would, he would agree too. So. And he's certainly the most intense player in the world of badminton at the moment. Yeah. You're so calm in your role now of analyzing yeah. and coaching and you have to find the right place in life <laughs> no it's yeah it's it's different it i still different. Still, i still play and i i, I can't play without that <laughs> intensity it's, it's impossible there's no way Smash. Across the 
See, now we're at the point where there's a big gap. Yeah, it was 7 all, remember? Yeah, and now, if you want to come back in this set, you have to really dig deep and find oh. openings. That's not just going to come to you. Christina and Joachim is not going to just give it to them. So they're going to have to do something. 47 straight points. Sukit Prakamol was looking exactly like this when he and his partner had dropped the opening game yesterday, 21-9. And then they were 13-19 down. It really looked as if all over part of the celebrations. And then suddenly the Thailand pair from nowhere. Around the back as well. Now a top spin. What a great technique. 16, 7. Yeah. But you can see that he comes out of it miraculously. Yeah. And he still tries to do a trick shot. Yeah. I think what we have to recognize here is what a wonderful character Sarani must be to, to, to be able to deal with his flamboyant style and his apparent nonchalance you know he's she must be pretty special too oh yeah oh fantastic yeah so oh, that was a run of nine straight points Apologises, you can probably hear that. Say sorry immediately for the net cord. 13 and 14 points. A whole host of game point opportunities now for the Danes.
15 minutes. Very similar to yesterday. Exactly the same as yesterday. Small yeah. line wise, yeah. opening game. Yeah. So okay. Time to play around. Jesper Larsen has just had a little word of caution for his players. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Thailand pair lost the opening game yesterday against the world champions 21-9. And came back to win the match. Dames mustn't think from their perspective that they're on top of this. No, I don't think they will be surprised because they also saw the results from yesterday. So. Yeah. the Danes are mentally. Just expound on that for me. Just very focused. Very focused. Every rally. They're not, they don't take anything for granted. They work for everything. That, you know, as we said, as you pointed out yesterday, uh, York is a hard fighter. He's, he's skilled, but he's not the most skilled player. That means that he's going to have to work for the things uh, that he gets. And, and therefore, his mentality is... Yeah. Now, you obviously know him much better than I do, but by all accounts, he's a great person to have on the team in that he's a very positive person, oh. not just on court, but keeps the team spirit together and encourages teammates and so on. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's probably the best team uh, in Denmark as a team competition, and, and I think he's been the best team player uh, over the mm. last years because he can play both doubles and mixed doubles and he's always very supporting of the players that he plays with and he's an even less you know, professional players you can say that he's just sort of supporting them so you know, it's, it's a very good game so yeah. him and, and, and Peter has been the best over the last 10 years in, in the Danish team well I, I certainly know from personal experience that Jorkin Fischer has always been very polite to me and made a point of asking me how things are going and yeah. you know and which players don't have to do and certainly uh, just the way he is when when we have Sudaman Cup and things like that and the way he is with the team and the way he supports and you know I'd certainly want him on my bench yeah yeah and he's also good at dealing with different characters you know it's yeah. not, it's not like even if somebody Stepping over the line, and you know why he's stepping over the line. Maybe he's going to, you know, it's a little bit irritated. He's good at calming things down. So. I see, I'm, I'm practicing. I'm 
sometimes playing with him and the next I said, I'm, I'm playing with Jokic. Uh, he's calming me down. Yeah. That says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I know it's, it's, it's a big plus. Peterson sometimes changing direction, moving forward like that, getting down low. It's more of a problem for the taller players. Mm, well taken. Yeah, so get more aggressive now. Keeping the net, keeping the attack. Early. It's it's very important to keep that momentum going, where they keep the net and keep the attack, because um, this will happen if they just lift a look. And, yeah. he, and he's willing to work from, from now to the tournament's over, so they're not gonna get anything out of that. So they have to to to, to challenge on the front court and take them out. There. But then Sarah said no. She thought it was the right call. Oh. Oh, what a chance, eh? I would have too. Good return. Good 
said. Oh, right in the back. in on the double service line well they're going to have a mid-game interval whatever the result of the challenge because it's 10 all well here we are oh, well we just missed the tournament referee giving a signal not got the umpire telling us what's going on. Janice rejected some of the defaults with the right call. So it was called in. So, it was called in. so the advantage. It's good. Call. It's good it? So it's 11 10 to the tie back then. Series year rank number nine. Did Thailand pair? The only reason they're here at the Super Series finals is because of the three Indonesian pairs in the top eight, and we're only allowed two pairs of players in the singles from any one nation to contest these Super Series finals. So, in a way, Thailand pair very lucky to be here, but at the same time, my goodness, they did play well yesterday. Yeah, with well, taking tattoos. Yeah. So, you often also see players and pairs play play with you know when they find out that they you know somebody pulls out and they have a chance to play this they play uh, they play much more freely because they didn't didn't yeah. think they were going so they are much more relaxed and, and are grabbing the, ch the chance of playing. This. Oh, 
best it serves. Come on, go forward in other words. So Sidkip was coming in to play the next shot. Christina responded. Going forward, it's a threat in itself, isn't it? So a couple of times now, seeing that she's moving forward, he's tried to make his net shot too tight to the net, and in doing so, he's made the error. Yeah, and one of the things is that she's moving forward. Yeah. So she's put more pressure on him. intensity and they've played very well indeed yeah I'm very disciplined yeah I think he really needs to get on that practice court it's a kill me from here maybe that's the reason Be difficult for the players, I have to say. No warm up court, but well, they've all coped very well. Nobody's oh. complained, no. not that I'm aware of. No, Lee Chung Wei had a little say about it. Oh, did he? Well, here are match points. They're professionals, six, six of them to be precise. <laughs> and only one needed because the defending champions. Two straight games, two matches played, two matches won, both in two straight games. And by my calculation, because the Thailand pair won their previous match in three match games, won by, by my calculation, Fischer, it means that Christina, the Danes will qualify for the semi finals, but we don't know yet whether they will be top of the group or not. But I think. It's going to be difficult to take that away from me, even with such a big win. So. Yeah. So confirmation of the score, 21-9, 21-14. A victory for the defending champions in 34 minutes.
with Judge Shima and Christina again. A great performance. Uh, the first game a little bit more comprehensive? Yeah, the first game was was also pretty easy today. We won, uh, and then in the second, I think we lost the concentration a little bit, but but we got it back, and, and uh, luckily we also won pretty easy. Uh, Christina, you've been playing in two categories, of course. How are you holding up right now? Uh, pretty good. A <laughs> uh, good day today, two wins, so... Um, my, my body feels really good, uh, and I'll be ready for tomorrow as well. And I noticed in the first game, you're understanding the variety of shots. Did you really mix it up today? Yeah, I think so. We, we tried to mix it up. In the beginning, it was a little bit too loose, but then we got it, and then we got a victory again today, so we are happy. So one last question. Two wins, qualified. Looking forward to the weekend? We do. Absolutely. Fantastic. Congratulations once again. Thanks for joining us. Well, no wonder they're very happy. And for Christina Peterson, two wins today, women's doubles and mixed doubles. So two semi-finals are guaranteed. Well, will Denmark continue their run of good fortune? Because next on is the number three seed, Jan Jorgensen. He's up against former world junior champion Wang Xiaming of China. Well, this is a Group A match, and I can tell you that Lee Chong Wei has won both his matches he's played so far. Of course, he played in this afternoon's session, did uh, Lee Chong Wei. Boonsak Ponsana played two, lost two. So this, with uh, Jan Jorgensen having already beaten Boonsak Ponsana, and Wang Xiaming having already...